I'm the nigga that opened it up for the door uh, industry niggas. My battle was way better. I am better than him. And it's a simple way to prove this shit. What's good though, nigga? We here. Yeah, we out here, sir. Another another classic. Another RBE classic, man. Featuring Why Big not? K, you know. Another another classic for the fans. Good entertainment for this quarantine. Big Big K, Big K versus Mac Myron just dropped for people out mm -hmm. there. But before we even get into that, let me ask you a question, man, because people say it a lot. You say it a lot. Are you undefeated? Is a pig's pussy pork? <laughs> For sure, man. <laughs> right out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, but this is all just the beautiful thing about battle rap. You know, we see what happens when we get judges involved. So we it's just it's gonna be like this forever. None of you fans can tell me I certainly lost a battle. I disagree. I truly disagree, and I know a lot of people that disagree too. So I'm undefeated, bro. But I really feel I never walked out of a battle and felt like, yo, I just got smoked. Ever. I walked out of a battle and felt like that's what you get for fucking up. You you playing around. You you playing around, your shit won't locked in. That's why you, you choked and you fucked up. I had that happen before, but I ain't never walked in there and been like, damn. So a lot so when you say you undefeated, you're not mm -hmm. You're not tagging that as a loss if you think you beat yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like you say, if you oh, no, choke. no, none of, none of that. But just, just, just to put it in layman's terms, I've never lost a battle ever. It ain't going to happen ever. I'm undefeated for sure. Everybody knows it. And it's been like what? I got my first battle in 2009. So what's this, 2020? This, this 11 years. I ain't never been irrelevant, ever. I ain't never been irrelevant. Even when fans was like, "Oh, he fell," up, I was still getting booked. And I kept, I kept coming. I kept going, bro. It don't, it don't stop. So it, I don't know too many people that can say that. People don't last that many years, bro. Y'all gonna see. All right, let me let me throw some debatable battles at you, man. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, let me start with some RBE shit. Did you clearly mm -hmm. beat Show Off? For sure. What rounds? All three rounds? All three. <laughs> <laughs> all three. All three. He was right. great. He was great. He's a, he's a great battle. But you know, the dog strikes again. <laughs> this battle is half charity. I spill your thoughts all on the couch. Let's have therapy. Call me a white devil. I said, look, call me a white devil. Say y'all the original man. Like that's scaring me. I run you over in a jeep. Now your ass half charity. <laughs> Mama, there goes that man. <laughs> there goes that man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Every time. There he goes. Did you crazy? Did you clearly, I'm gonna stay on RBE. Did you clearly beat Iron Solomon? Clearly? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. You Absolutely. Say yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. These are just my opinions though. So I hope people are not going crazy like. How could you say? It's just my opinions, man. He's asking me my opinions, man. I'm, I'm clearly undefeated. You be pandering to the bloggers and the fans, trying to win their respect back as a rapper because you lost it as a man. I will uppercut your motherfucking jaw into the stands, cocksucker. I sock puppets. I'm talking with my hands. I pull up. How about Calico? That's an easy one. I ain't even break a sweat. That guy's <laughs> terrible, low-key. Yo. Kind of high, high, low key, like, you know. Blam! I spit around. This can a split a crown. Cause King think he a stand up man. I sit him down. No talking. I let it ring. Click and blow. Work it out with a machine. I'm not giving any lip to cow. How you tough and move? I'll give you one more that's debated on RBE. The other ones I see you get a lot of wins as far as the votes. Mm -hmm. Old Red. Mm -hmm. Old Red. I clearly won that one. First off, we all see where I'm sitting at. Golden Gate Bridge behind me, big penthouse, million dollar home. Who better? You knew better, you would do better. Extended SIG out the DeVille. Cruella had a homicide. Oh! What? You know you're fucking losing here, boy. You trash. No losses. <laughs> it's no losses. What do you mean? This man took a clapping at the battle rap event, man. This man dropped the deuce in there. This man took the Browns to the Super Bowl at the PGs, man. Of course I won, man. They all think I made that that round up, man. That's one of the greatest rounds in battle rap history. All right. It's all good. I think um, 
speaking about some of your battles leads me into a topic that I knew I wanted to talk about with you. Mm -hmm. A highly controversial this year was crossing a line. And we mentioned a couple people that you battled that could be considered crossing a line, but we didn't speak about Rosenberg Raw. I feel like right. that battle right there opened up a narrative for yeah. almost your entire career. You know, right. and, and he had a famous quote off of that. It's legendary in battle rap. You got to give it up to Rosenberg Raw. Yeah, for Shout sure. Shout out to Raw. See what they do for views. Right. You know, let's, before we jump into the what's crossing the line topic and we talk about, you know, some of your legacy dealing with that narrative, let's talk about that battle with Raw. You know, how did you yeah. feel about that angle? How did you feel during that time? What was it like hearing that, standing in front of that? And even some of the back. So I know you spoke about it before. You spoke about it in yeah, battles, yeah. but... In real life, where was you at at that time? See, like, that, that's the thing. Like, when, when that battle had been locked in before, and I had to postpone it for a funeral. Like, me versus Half Past Seven was supposed to be on a, 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 a previous PG car, and I didn't do it. So then when the second time was coming around, and then this happens, I'm like, fuck. Like, this shit is crazy. But then, like, you know, in the ill will shit, I speak on it a little bit. I, I get the blessings from, you know what I mean, my dog, mom, and I'll go do that, whatever, whatever, whatever. So when I come and do the battle, I'm thinking the honorable shit, but I'm brand new in battle rap. This is me versus half past now. Like, I don't know none of the game yet. I'm, I'm, you know what I mean? Like, I've been rapping for a long time, and I might be a little bit older than some of these battlers, but I ain't been here as long of them. So I don't know the, the false angles and the narratives and, and – how to how to counteract punch lines and this and that. I don't know these tricks of the trade yet. And even though Raw was younger, he'd been around longer though, you know? So so it, it was a learning experience. So when I open up the battle and I'm thinking like, okay, the honorable thing to do, let me say, you know, RIP to my RIP to my brother right here. You know what I'm saying? But when I say it, I don't, I don't know that I'm, oh, oh, this is something somebody could use against you. I'm thinking I'm doing an honorable thing. Like before we even do this, you know, just RIP to my dog, you know, this and that. Maybe I should have said that. And shouldn't have watered it like that. So then when, when the battle happens and he going to the angle, I'm in my mind, like I'm not like, damn, damn, this this is going too far. I'm just I'm looking around. You can even if you watch the battle, you see my face like. And and that's not because like I'm like, oh man, how can he talk that? I'm just looking like because everybody in there is like literally grabbing on each other, like, holy shit. Oh, and I'm like, bro, like, I don't, what the fuck? I don't I don't understand, you know what I'm saying? I don't get it at first. You know what I'm saying? But then it really it did teach me something. Like that's something you can't I can't take away from Raw. He still lost. He definitely lost for sure. But <laughs> that angle saved his ass like a motherfucker. And it also, you know what I mean, to people who are looking and they want to give him that one, I can understand that. But me personally, like even just that angle, see what they do for views, like that's just one bar he had that whole round. Like that's literally just one bar. So if we want to be technical, I had some shit in a second to counteract that shit in my mind. <clears> but <throat> that's when I learned that it's certain shit that they don't want to hear the punches up against. You know what I'm saying? Like if somebody come with this type of angle, the punches might not hit it all the way. Like you, you can get by with punches, but you might have to angle to the punch. You know, at that time, I would just rapid fire through just punches. You know what I'm saying? So it was definitely, I don't think he went too far, bro. I gave him the ammunition. You see what I'm saying? Like, I, if I wouldn't have said what I said, he would have never known anything about what was going on. So going too far, I, don't, I didn't feel like it was too far. You know what I'm saying? Like, but it's a slippery slope, though, because once he play that game, it might make somebody else want to play that game. And then then you could take them as too far because it's like, bro, you don't even you, – you, you trying to come stir up some old – you trying to do some weak shit to get by. So that might be different than that situation. You know what I mean? But I, I, feel like I, I feel like I've seen you in that spot for <clears throat> a bunch of battles. So obviously, most battle rap fans, most most media bloggers, league owners caught on to it during the Rosenberg Raw shit. Right. After that, you know, I, I got examples like, you know, the third round of you versus Show Off. Um, you even looked a little annoyed during that third round. This way I shine because I'm show. Because when Ill Will mentions your brother... When you told that man his raps was the type of shit to get him punched in the mouth and he should stop speaking on shit that he knew nothing about. I said, oh, oh nigga. I saw the hurt, rage, thunder come out. I saw a beast that saw the feet. I saw the hunger come out. You said, man, you're a fucking clown. He's like, nah, you're a clown. Yeah. That wasn't the rap part, like, during that rapping. So it was like, 
not sure if it was touchy. For real? You know what I mean, I don't and, that's crazy. I don't remember. Yes, yeah, it's it's it's, I mean, it's, I it's, it's center it. footage. You a leak? I don't even fuck with you. <laughs> You're a clown. You're a clown. It's definitely yeah, the footage. Yeah, I mean that's what I'm talking about though. It's just like 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 I don't I miss mean, whatever. Like it ain't like I'm mad at show off or I got some beef with them. But it's certain shit I don't do to win battles, bro. Like this is why motherfuckers say Big K. Is man, I don't know. He got a fucking attitude. He got this and that. He got this and that. I come on stage and be like, "Y'all pussy. You can't beat me. I kill you. I've been selling dope. I've been doing all of this shit. Y'all get on there and be like, bro, you a racist. You hate black people. You did this. You did all of that. And then y'all be trying to hang out with me after the battle. Of course, I'm not trying to kick it with you, Jack. Like, what the fuck? Like, we obviously on some different shit. I don't gotta do that. But that, but that, but that, but that's even showing the history of it, and that's why I want to stay on the topic of what's crossing the line because we got the Rosenberg Raw shit. We see examples like you versus Show Off third round. We see the to me the notorious rebuttal with with Ill Will, one of my favorite rebuttals right. of all time. You know the type you knew since she was five to the day that he died. So you had to hold his mom in your arms while she cried. And she looked at you and said, if you had a battle, that's some shit that need to get done. Because she knew deep down what that opportunity would mean to her son. See, that's that type of shit to get you punched in the mouth stop rapping about shit you don't know nothing about all the times that people reference that in the form of battle rap trick question is that crossing the line when they reference that type of shit to you when you hear people say that to you nobody has really like like you can cross the line but if you just bring up something that i brought up i really can't get mad at you because you would have never known if i didn't even speak about this shit you know what i'm saying and it's also like, I mean, if you motherfuckers been thugging, like you're saying, you've been thugging, and you ain't got no dead homers, and you ain't been in no shootouts or no real beef, then I'd be questioning what the fuck y'all into anyway. So, like, this shit just come with it. Like, where I'm from, like, I don't know what the fuck other people be into, but if the homie pass and I got a battle, I definitely might pay homage right quick. But then that's the, that's the, that's the double-sided sword. But then you pay homage, and motherfuckers show up like, fuck your mans. And it's just like, bro. Right. And that's and that's why I said trick question, because without getting into that topic, you know, there was times where we seen some credible people, some celebrities, uh, uh, battle battlers, your peers, um, bloggers ask that question, you know, has Big K had rounds or moments that are crossed the line in, um, mm -hmm. in this year, 2020? And I always find it a little hypocritical because I, I always give you credit for having somebody that was close to you that, you know, you actually lost. And you stood in front of that type of content your entire career. You always stood yeah, in front of people right. bringing that up in your face, entire rounds, entire angles. You know what I'm saying? So it comes up a lot of what's crossing the line. Like, is it because it's something that's known? Does it have to be something that the public knows? Does it have to be something that you yourself brought up? Or is it at the end of the day, battle rap is battle rap? And it's like, look, you know, if it's something that, you know, you could possibly come at me for or would come at me for, it's all fair game. And that's just the rules of this game. Motherfuckers do be throwing the whole kitchen sink at me every time, though. Like, every, like that's some, that's people don't people don't look at that. Like, I really be you either going to fucking fight back the fight of your life or you're going to get the fuck out of here when you come and see me. It ain't no like or we're going to have we're going to have a classic or you, your ass going to be up out of here. It ain't no fucking around with me. You know what I'm saying? So when, when you, it's a respect, though, like that's that's that's. I know what it is. Like, the fans might not see it. They might be thinking, like, oh, Big K just keep losing. He keep losing, keep losing. Like, if you're watching to see Big K lose and I'm having classic battles, you're going to walk away saying I lost, bro. If you're watching to see a good battle, you're going to walk away saying Big K won. If you're watching to see Big K win, you're going to walk away saying Big K won. Speaking of the Mac battles, sir, this third round that's going around, you know, yeah. we're coming off of talking about that same narrative, you know, uh, it seems that you wasn't just addressing uh, that same narrative of, you know, your peoples that passed away, but also the witch hunt thing. Oh, and it's a witch hunt. It's a witch hunt on white people in battle rap. Okay. I can take a second to address it before I get back to that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and it almost seems like that's a, a topic that came into your rounds pretty late. You know what I mean, because there was right. some of that stuff going on right before the battle, like the week before, like the last right. two yeah. into the battle. What made you go that direction, you know, the whole police brutality or the witch hunt against, you know, white battle rappers in the culture? <laughs> 